Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to pressure wash, clean, and prep your residential fence so you can get it ready for staining afterwards. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end because I'm gonna show you the entire process of how we were able to restore this old and wore down fence to this beautiful, nice, and professional end result so you can have the same thing. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of handyman DIY projects, including home renovations like we're going to be doing today, then you're in the best place here on YouTube since that's all we do here at Frank's Handyman Service. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we're going to be uploading. These are the basic tools that we're going to be using to complete this project. We have this 3000 PSI Honda powered pressure washer with a 50 foot long hose. And the liquid we're gonna apply to the fence is the Zep wood deck and fence pressure wash. So this is gonna help us to loosen all the debris and grime. I'm gonna be putting it into this one gallon pressure, uh, hand pressure tank. And I filled it up with water about three quarters of the way and this ZEP material asks for one-fifth part uh, against the water. So I'm just going to put that in there and mix it up a little bit. And once I get it pumped, I'm going to apply that to all of the fence area that we're going to be cleaning. You can see here on the existing fence, especially on the bottom portion of it, that it's quite dirty. It has just a lot of the dust and grime. There's also mold that you'll be able to see here in a little bit. But what I'm doing here is just spraying all of the surface areas, the sides, the right, the left, even behind the face boards. Since this fence, it has the backing, um, it has boards in between, it has in the front, like you see right here. So this is the existing condition before we're gonna get going. You can see all of the mold there on the bottom it just looks very worn and just over the years i believe this fence is approximately 10 years old so um and this is one of the first times that we're going to be cleaning it so with this all this process basically once you apply that liquid onto it you wait five or ten minutes and then you can go ahead and pressure wash it so you can remove all that grime and dirt and this liquid, I looked up, and it has really good reviews. Now, you could pressure wash this without applying anything to it, and you can remove some of the material. But honestly, I really loved how this turned out. And I think that gallon of Zep, it only cost about $10. So it's super inexpensive, and all you got to do is apply it onto it, and it's going to help to remove a lot more dirt and material than you could do without applying anything to it and so once I do that that's what I'm doing right here just pressure washing the front the sides the back just getting trying to get everything as close as possible now the hose I'm getting it about six inches three to six inches away from all of the fence I'm just applying as much pressure as I can so I can um, easily just take out everything. We're also going to be doing the same process to all this wooden deck. I'm applying it to all the railings. The, there's two sets of steps. We have all of the walking surface area. This deck also has several of the boards that are rotted. So we're going to be replacing those and... Um, just applying a new stain this deck is going to have like a red colored stain that we're going to be putting to it and the fence it's going to have like a light brown um, natural color fence um, stain so which i'll show you that in a little bit but here i'm just taking my time trying to remove this has a lot of dirt and just a lot of stuff stuck to it 
And over here, this is the results after I pressure washed this fence. I let it dry for two days. That's one thing that I highly recommend. I wouldn't try to pressure wash it and apply the stain the same day because it could take several, many hours, you know, to fully dry. So we decided to do this, pressure wash it two days before, and now we came here. And the only thing I'm gonna use to apply the stain is a roller and a brush. So this is the stain. It's a waterproof wood finish, transparent from Bear Premium. It is uh, six years that it lasts on the fence. And that's the color. It's like a natural light brown rejuvenating color. One thing I recommend is for you to um, just put that roller um, into the warm water and just rinse it out. Now, I'm going to be doing all of this by hand. The reason is because if you see there in the back behind the fence, there's the next door neighbor's house. And we didn't want to just go through and, and, and um, spray it because... I've had it happen to me before where um, I sprayed a fence and it got all over the, the neighbor and then I, it was just a big old deal and we ended up having to pay like a few thousands of dollars. So I, I didn't want to go through that process again. So we decided to just do all this by hand. So that way, if you have the same situation, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Now, also, we started pretty early in the day. So we had a lot of time, you know, to get this done. And also, it wasn't a ton of fence to do. So this would, this would even if doing it by hand, we were able to do all this within the same day. Now you can see right here how as I'm applying the stain, it, it's changing the color. Um, you see right there that board I just did. And then this one, um, once I apply that stain with the brush, it covers everything and it just, it looks so much nicer. Um, definitely brings it to life and uh, now you could say that yes I could have like put plastic over the neighbors um, siding and and protected all that area and yeah I could I could have potentially gone through all that but like I said there's some scenarios and maybe some people will want to know like what if I don't have that or what if my neighbor isn't very friendly or he don't let me do anything if that's the case then this is the only other option and honestly, if you take your time and do a good job with this, you can get super high quality um, a finish. Like that's what I'm doing right here, you know, is I'm just um, dipping my, my brush into the stain and then I'm spreading it onto the wood and making sure I don't have any drips or runs and, and just going over everything. And then right here at the, at the face of the fence, I'm using the roller and, uh, so once I do that with the roller on the face, I'm doing also the sides and everything. So no matter what way that you look at the fence, you're going to be able to see that it applied evenly. And see, this is the results after I did all of this with only the brush. This was the results before. That's how the fence was with all of the mold and it just looks really worn and, and beaten. And after we applied everything, this is how it completely restored and changed the look of the fence. It almost looks like brand new. So the, the nice thing about doing this is it's going to prolong the life of your fence for at least, you know, another five years before you have to apply the stain again. If you do this every five years, your fence is going to last so much longer than what a typical fence if you don't do nothing to it and we're going to do the same process all over to this wooden deck using uh, the similar type of material but in a red color and uh, so once we do all this all of this wooden deck and the fence it's going to be good for at least another five to ten years and even longer than that so we hope you like this video on how you can clean, pressure wash, prep all the wood, fencing, the deck before you can apply the stain. Like I said, I highly recommend for you to clean it and wash it. Let it 
dry for at least two days and then you can apply the stain so you can obtain really nice and beautiful professional results like we did right here. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we're going to be uploading. Hit the like button, send us a comment, let us know what you think. And if you are planning to do this to your project or your house, we'd love to hear your feedback. May God bless you and we'll see you on the next project.